that. This and that are those things that God says. Those things that are behind me. What are those things? This and that. This. My bills was due. That. I got laid off on my job. This. He did this way. That. She did me this way. All of these things is that. Those things. He said, forgetting those things that are behind me. So he is telling us, forget about what has happened. I ain't telling you to make, write the slate clean. Just forget about it. Because in it, somewhere we are supposed to mature in it. We're supposed to take those hurts and pains and grow up in it. Mature in it. But forget about it, but mature in it. I'm like, Lord, how do you want me to forget about it, but yet mature in it? Meaning don't dwell on it. Don't keep going and revisiting it. You ever cut somebody off and you're going to go pull up in their driveway after the fight? You ever took somebody you done got into a fight to dinner? That sounds crazy, don't it? Because you ain't going to do it. I'm mad at you. I want to take you to dinner and I'm paying for it. That sounds weird. But that's what we do when we go back to the past. We allow our past to interfere with the blessings of today. So God is saying, let leave that stuff behind you. Let that stuff go. You can't focus on me. You can't press forward in me because you're so busy looking what's behind you. You're not maturing. You're not growing. Leave those things behind. Push them in the background. We are to look we look at our failures, our hurts, our pains, our sins, in our new day. Today, I'm telling my day, today, I'm telling my past, I'll see you later. All of my hurt, all of those that hurt me, all of those that talked about me, all of the, the I wish I shoulda, coulda, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Because for my father in heaven to tell me, Shanika, you're still holding on to stuff from the back and you can't even, you can't press forward because you're looking back. Let it go. Today I let it all go. Now whatever happens moving forward, I expect my father to handle that because he's like, he handled the last pain, the last tears, the last storm, the last issue. He moved the last person out of my life that hurt me. He moved the last situation. He blessed me with another job when this job started acting stupid. So I can look back and say, God, you did it then. I'm, I know that you'll do it for me now. So I, uh, today, I can say, God, I, I let it go. Okay, I heard you. You said, Shanika, you're hindering yourself. How am I hindering myself? I'm too focused on my past. I'm too focused on the people that hurt me. I'm too focused on the situation from the past, but I'm standing in my future. I'm standing in my now. But my past is hindering my, my steps to move forward. And today, God wants me to know, Shanika, move forward. Woman of God, move forward. Let's move forward. It's just time. We've spent so much time dwelling on the things of the past, dwelling on how could you do me like that, dwelling on how could she do me like that. I thought you was my friend. You said you loved me to the end. You said you was my husband and, and, and death do us part. How is it that we're here? You said you were going to be a virtuous wife to me. How is it that you're not that for me? Because I'm still, I can't see you in that manner because I'm still looking at you because you was the one that caused me the pain. And today I wash my hands to it. I wash my hands, I shake the dust off my feet, I cry out my last tear about my past. And anything and anybody that's standing in my present, if, if you are a reflection of my past, I just know God will deal with you the same way he dealt with you before. I'm no longer holding on to my past hurts. It is what it is, this is that. These issues is that, that God is saying those things that which is behind me, I let it go. Today I let it go. I start afresh, I start a new day, I walk in new grace, I walk in new mercies. And ain't no need for me to bring my past and mess it with my present right now because I'll never get to my future destination holding on to the things behind me. No, today I let it go. Today I can smile with a different smile. Today I can breathe a different breath. Today I can see things a lot different. Today I can see Shanika. Whether or not I am, you know, Paul reminds me, I haven't got there yet. I am not saying that I'm perfect. I haven't arrived yet. I'm still pressing forward. I said, Lord Jesus, why do you keep on saying this word press? But press is mentioned twice. He said press on in verse 12, and he said press forward in verse 14. And when you think about the word press, press means to reach forward. Press 
means to pursue. When we was in the clubs and we was hanging out and we was doing all the things that we was big and bad enough to do when we was in the world, have you ever been in a club and somebody asked you, what you doing in here? You ever been anywhere and somebody said, what you doing in here? When I was in the clubs and I was a dancer, that was the most common thing I got. What you doing in here? Making money. What do you mean or what am I doing in here? You don't look like you belong in here. There's something different about you. God was pursuing me then. Now I understand. He was pursuing me while I was in my sinful nature. While I was yet in sin, he was still pursuing me because there's a destination. There's, there, God has a plan for my life, and he began to pursue me. So now we have to turn it around and pursue him. That's why he says, press, push, run for the mark. Come get what belongs to you. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't care who I lose this time. I don't care who walk away. I don't care if nobody wants to be my friend. I will preach to these empty chairs because I'm pressing for the mark. I am pursuing everything that God has for me. I am pursuing because God did not give me breath this morning and allow him to speak to me and let me know to press forward and stop looking back for no reason. I trust him like that. I know that God has something in store for me and I want it. The same way he came and pursued me because he said, I got something in you that's going to bless my kingdom. So I'm pursuing what I have given you on the inside because I need it now. And now I need what God has in his hand. I need his will to manifest in my life. I need every blessing that he said he's going to give to me. I need it. And the only way I can get it is to pursue the holder. If somebody come in my house and take from me. Well, you remember when somebody came and took our speakers from the church from our garage. He jumped in the car and he pursued them. Not because, um, not because um, he was big and bad, but you took what did not belong to you. I'm pursuing you to take back what belongs to me. God, I'm chasing after you. The song says, I'm chasing after you. I understand it now. I understand that I am pursuing God for what belongs to me. I can't get it looking backward. If he's over in 2015 for all my manifestations to begin and I'm still living in 2008, I'm behind time.